so hello guys I am back again with another brand new Call of Duty mobile video and today I am going to show to you my loadout my settings my sensitivity my HUD and all that stuff so without wasting any of your time let's get into the video so getting into my loadouts I have a sniper and it is the DLQ 33 holidays I am running the max ADS build with extended mag A I don't like using suppressor on uh, the LQ33 because it feels cheap and it sounds cheap so yeah uh, I'm running the lightweight perk the amp so that I could switch fast and the dead silence perk for my operator skills I always run a war machine it's either war machine sparrow gravity spikes or transform shield and for my lethals and equipments I always run trophy system either trophy system or smoke or thermite and also thermite for the lethals and for my secondary I use 50 GS and sometimes I use FHJ or SMRS and depends upon the situation this is my 50 GS loadout with a Kimbo of course it's really cancer but you know that's just the way the meta works if you can't if you can't beat them then join them so yeah getting into the, my next gun it is the rt50 without stopping power i use the max ads build with suppressor for the third gun i use this gun to hold angles especially if i'm playing the anchor role this is really good uh to suppress enemies or to you know cut off their momentum i am using ykm light flash guard chopper infantry fmj for the penetration OWC laser tactical and of course heavy handle who will run a chopper without heavy handle of course so yeah and also for the green perk I use quick fix you know when I am uh, playing response I always I always run quick fix because you know it's the most overpowered green perk right now so for the fourth gun I am using the mano war the mano bot on whatever you want to call it it's the most overpowered assault rifle as of now i am running the huge suppressor laser tactical the combat stock i am using red at sight but it depends upon your preference if you want to run red at sight or no you know and i always run 30 round extended mag because you know i really hate running out of mags so yeah for this loadout, for the next loadouts, I always run persistence. These are the loadout that I am using when I am playing response. So yeah, I use uh, why am I using annihilator? I am using war machine in this class, and for my next AR class, I am using ASM10. The loadout in this ASM10 is from DVT Heaven or AMT Heaven rather, the sniper main of Almighty. This is a really good loadout. You know, it has really minimal recoil and it has a balanced ADS speed and mobility. <laughs> so, yeah. And I have my red perk here, you know, persistence, of course. <laughs> That's the most meta thing right now. But when I'm playing Search and Destroy, I switch it to lightweight because, you know, that's just the way it is. For the next one, I have M4 here. If you might, you know. You might, if you want, if you might want to ask, why am I running M4? This is for my speed boost. I am using this in response and also in SMD if I'm running a sniper because the speed boost is really essential in order for you to get into the power positions quick. That would really be an advantage, you know, over your enemies. So for the next loadout, this is the most. I think this is the most overpowered gun right now, except for the NA45, of course, the QQ9. Man, this is HG40 and steroids, and this is my loadout for the QQ9. And I'm not running the 10 millimeter uh, rounds because you know I really don't like it. I, I'd like, I'd like to run 45 round extended mag for my QQ9. This loadout is a great balance between range mobility accuracy and all that stuff so yeah for my number eight loadout i am using the krm this loadout is from none other than dg clove himself the best 
Rusher in the arena. I always run. Uh, oh my God, Cozy Blaster is inviting me. I always run RTC extended instead of extended because extended barrel makes it really heavy, and I don't like it. I like my shotgun to be light so that I could roam around the map faster. And for this loadout, I'm not using persistence, of course, so that I could roam faster. If I'm playing Slayer, I am gonna put the Hardline perk on so that I could cycle or get the score six faster. But now, you know, in scrims, I'm playing objective, so I'd like shrapnel so that I could make use of more of my utilities. If I'm playing SND, I will switch it to Dead Silence, so yeah. For my number nine loadout, this is just so random, I'm using the Q QXR, but I don't use this that often, but this weapon is really good if you know how to use it. I am running the Monolex Suppressor, MIP Light, No Stack, Extended Mag, OWC Laser Tactical. So yeah, and getting in to the best gun in my loadout, the most cancerous. I only use this gun when it's emergency, and it is none other than the NA45. I got this loadout from Inigo, you know, shout out to him, he's my moderator, he's a really good NA45 user. I am running the tactical scope, of course, sleight of hand so that I could reload faster, OWC laser tactical, light trigger, and high explosive ammo. For the perk, I am using flak jacket so that I couldn't kill myself. I am using amp so that I could switch to Kimbo faster, but it depends upon you if you want if you want to use you know quick fix. And I'm using damage expert so that my NA45 could deal more damage. So yeah, uh, feel free to copy my loadout, but I'm not you know I'm not liable if my loadout doesn't work for you. So yeah, that's my loadout. I hope. You know, you've learned something, so let's get into the settings. And now, let's get into the settings. Uh, I use advanced mode instead of simple mode. It's really a common niche in a competitive uh, Call of Duty mobile. If you are not uh, new to this game, you know that advanced mode is the best. The best option, you know, out of all, because simple mode just sucks. You know, you have limited range, you have limited capabilities. In advanced mode, you have full control over your gun or whichever weapon that you are using. So, I am not using ADS for each and every gun here. I always use hip fire because I think hip fire is the best and you have more control over your aim and the way you manipulate your gun. So, this is my HUD or HUD in short. I use four finger claw. This is custom. I've been using this HUD since real rules of survival's day, or rules of survival days, rather. I'm sorry if I'm being choppy right now. I've been using this HUD for three years now. I use my index finger to, uh, to shoot. I use my thumb to aim, to reload, to get my tactical equipments, and to jump, and also to open the mic. And also initiate the operator skills. I also use my right thumb to get into the chats and mark up the enemies. Uh, I'm using the index finger to shoot and to open the map. I am using my left thumb only for strafing. And I'm using my left index finger to crouch, to open the settings, to emote, to sometimes open the maps to initiate the ADS button and to view the scoreboard. And also, as an additional, I use my right thumb to initiate the score streaks and to switch weapons or to pick up weapons and to plant the bomb. So yeah, let's get into the basic settings. I am using aim assist because I'm a noob. I don't use fast throw grenade because I don't like it. I use quick run from prone fix right button and all that stuff oh uh, you know this settings is really dependent on how you play the game or how you approach the game so it depends upon you if you'd like to copy my settings so I used up to ADS I used up to crouch while sprinting this is my always sprint sensitivity it's set to 80 because in SND 
you don't really run that much especially in you know tight situation you would like to you know to walk sometimes because walking especially with skulker perk is really an advantage or a tactical advantage over your enemies and yes i use a gyroscope and for my camera fob i use 75 so that you know it's really wide and for my marker settings you know it really depends upon you but this is what works for me and for the br mode it's all the same same stuff you know i don't walk in br <laughs> that's why i have my always speed sensitivity set to 100 and for my graphics you know it really depends upon you but i use medium and max and max settings rather sensitivity <laughs> what the freak but if your phone or ipad can handle the ultra settings or the 120 hertz display settings switch to it because that is a really game changer you know according to hansu when he switched to the 120 hertz setting he didn't bother to switch back to the 60 hertz because it's really bad it really depends upon you if you'd like to run low medium high or very high depends upon you but for me medium is the best because you have the balance of graphic quality and visual performance because if you use very high there's a lot of shadows lot of effects and you will have a hard time to spot the enemies especially if you have you know especially if you have eye disorders like me so yeah this is my this is the rest of my br graphic style so yeah and this is what a lot of you have been asking for the sensitivity i use fixed speed because it's the most consistent out of all rotation modes so please do not uh do not attempt to copy my sensitivity because you know there's a lot of variables when you know when picking the right sensitivity of course you can try it but please 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 don't copy it because you know you will be the one to suffer not me <laughs> because i've been using the sensi i've been using the sensitivity since season 5 i haven't changed it like even a tad bit so i am really used to this sensitivity you're not used to use you're not used to this sensitivity so don't use it don't try to copy it you can try it but please 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 don't copy it because you know it would really affect your gameplay really bad so yeah this is my camera sensitivity my firing sensitivity over here and my gyroscope sensitivity i don't use super duper high uh, gyroscope sensitivity because it will affect how i pre-aim on sniper but you know it's set on medium because i'm a flex uh player i use all sorts of guns and i only use gyroscope when i am uh you know controlling the recoil or when i am spraying or i'd like to spray transfer that's when the time uh gyroscope comes handy with me with regards to sniping i always use my fingers i don't depend on gyroscope while sniping because it's bad for me you know it's really inaccurate when you try to snipe with gyro and you know let's get into my vr mode sensitivity it's all the same i'm running the same sen sensitivity nothing special hmm. now for my beer settings very basic i'm not I haven't I think I haven't changed it since I played this game for quick message I haven't changed it as well for controller I don't use controller because it's banned competitive and as some of you may know I am a former competitive player but I quit it because you know I suck for language I use English okay not much to say you know not much to see here so yeah that's about it if you have learned something or enjoyed or you'd like to copy my sensitivity it's up to you so that is it for today's video guys i hope that you have learned something and enjoyed uh if you're new here you're just a stranger you know who just came by or on my channel please subscribe don't forget to like this video comment down below on what you'd like to see next and subscribe for more awesome content have a good day see you in the next one peace out